one, the diagram shows an extract from a vernier calipers being used to measure diameter of a pipe. The diagram shows an extract from a vernier calipers being used to measure diameter of a pipe. So this diagram here is just an extract. What do they mean when they say an extract? Meaning that it is a part which they took from a bigger part, which is the vernier caliper itself. They decided to take only this part they are showing you here. Then the question says, what is the reading of the instrument? What is the reading of the instrument? Well, guys, welcome to the DMS Online School. The DMS Online School offers online tuitions for GCE grade 12 in mathematics, science, biology, civic education, RIE, and English. So if you are doing GCE exams this year, you better join the DMS Online School. So if you are interested, you can WhatsApp me on or nine seven seven ninety two forty one seventy five. All right, so let's go straight into answering the question. All right, so the question here says, What is the reading of the instrument? So, since we are dealing with the vernier caliper, you must understand that the reading of the vernier caliper has a formula which is reading is equal to many scale plus what we call open brackets we have the vernier scale then times the least count there okay this is the formula guys which you don't need to forget so for us to be able to apply this formula we need to have what we call data so let us collect our data here, the information which we need to put in our formula. So we need to have data. What data is it, which is many scale reading there, we need to collect. Then we need also to have the vernier scale reading. Okay, then we need to have what we call the least count reading. Now, the least count is a standard value which you need to know already at this point because it's a standard value. When a vernier caliper is marked in centimeters, then the least count will always be 0 0.01 centimeters. So you need to memorize this value. The least count for a vernier caliper when it is in centimeters, it is 0 0.01 centimeters. So least count, is just the smallest quantity or measurement that a particular instrument is able to measure accurately. So for the vernier caliper is able to measure up to 0 0.01 centimeters accurately. Okay, so after we put this information down, we need now to know where are we going to get our mean scale reading? Where are we going to get the vernier scale reading? Well, the upper part or the bigger scale on the vernier caliper like this one here is known as the many scale so this one is the many scale then the smaller reading here on the vernier caliper is known as the, the vernier scale so this is where we are going to get our reading now for you to get the many scale you need to read the vernier caliper from left to the right until you meet the last line on the main scale before the zero on the vernier scale. So you read from left to the right until you find the last line before the zero on the vernier scale. So when you look, our reading must be taken from this last line here. The last line is this line here. Okay, so this line is the last line before we cross this other side, we find this line. So this line, we must not cross the zero. When reading on the many scale, you must not cross the zero, we pass the other side. When we find this zero here, 
meaning we shouldn't cross it, we should read on the values on the left of it. So the last value is on this line here. So we need to know this line. What reading is this? So the reading here can be known. If you can't know it, you can get a clue or an idea from this reading already this side. These readings can give you an idea already. So like you have, for instance, this longer line is 10. This longer line is 11. So now, how about these shorter lines here? What value do they represent or measurement? So you need to study and then start uh, finding out. Like, if this is 10, could this be 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, 10.4, 10.5, 10.6, 10.7, 10.8, Then 11. Could it be like that? According to what we have seen here, yes, it could be like that. So it means each smaller line represents 0.1 or 0 0.1. So when you look at this line where we want to get our reading from, it is similar to this line here. This line which is coming just before this longer line where 11 is, is similar to this line which is coming just before this longer line where 10 is. So this line here, if we are to read from 10, 11, 10, 10.1, 10 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, this will be 10.9, right? Just to learn from this one, centimeters. How about this? You see, this has been broken here. It means on this other side, since it was an extract, this side we have values like 9, we have also values like 8. So imagine you are moving from 9, the next number is 10. Now, before you reach 10, you need to read from here. So if this was 10.9, what about this one? It should be 9.9 .9 centimeters, okay? Meaning that on your data here, your main scale reading is 9.9 .9 centimeters, okay? I hope that makes sense. So once you get that one, then you need to shift your attention now to the uh, venous scale, this scale down here. Now, for you to be able to know the reading on the venous scale, you must begin looking at a line on the venous scale. You must look at the line down here and a line on top here. So you must check for a line down here on the venous scale and a line on top here on the main scale, you must look for those two lines which are coinciding. Like when you have a line here, do you have another straight line on top here? Nothing. We do not have. So meaning this line is not, we are not interested in it. We come on the second line here, this line here. On this line, do we have another line on top which is making it like a straight line? Yes. When you look here, it makes like it is a straight line. So it means that your reading must be here, on this point here. Now, when reading, you read from 0 up to 0, from left up to the right where 10 is. Now, when getting the reading just like that, if you are at 0, then this is 5 and then this is 10. You need to know each line here represents what? So if it is, this is 0, then what happens? You must study. Then if that is 0, this should be 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 10. You see? So after you study and identify that each line there represents 1, then your main interest is to read from this line here. Then 0, 1, 2. So this is 2 here. So meaning that your venous scale is at 2 here. And it does not have the unit. So you have read. Once you read like that, what is next? The next thing is to substitute the information in your formula. So what you are going to do is to say, okay, equals main scale put 9.9. .9, 
9.9 centimeters plus then let's open our brackets at Fenya scale you put your 2 there then times the least count you put your 0 0.01 centimeters then you close then say okay equals first work out what is in the brackets so you say okay 9.9 .9 centimeters don't make errors there so 2 times 0 0.01 centimeters it will be 0 0.02 centimeters then after that you add now because this plus so 9.9 .9 centimeters plus 0 0.02 centimeters the total value will be 9.92 centimeters so this will be the reading according to the question so when they said what is the reading of the instrument they have provided these options a b c d so when we compare the options provided here which one is similar to our answer is b so the answer is b like that okay so let's move to the next question